good win against uh, a, a good opponent. Uh, had a lot of guys that uh, just continued to bleed. And we started out a little bit slow on offense. It was fun to see our offense pick up some steam as the game went on. It was fun to see Zion play with more confidence. Uh, it was fun to see the ball thrown down the field a little bit, some plays made. Uh, I thought defensively we played well. We got some stops and some, some takeaways, which is always going to help you when you're a young offense. And uh, you know we had some special teams miscues that we've got to get cleaned up. Uh, we can't we can't uh, let a, a guy go whatever he went. I don't know how many yards it was, but it was a lot on a on a, on a punt return. We were there again. We we had guys that could make the play. They got to make the play. But I'm excited for those guys. And I've, I've preached it a lot and told you guys this a lot and told. UConn football fans, this a lot that these guys are a little bit different. They're guys I've been around, and they've been through a lot. And through the through the trials that they've been through, um, they build a resiliency up. And you know those things can start to sound like empty words or coach speak, but a game like this to me confirms who those young men are. And they're tough kids. Uh, they are committed. They they care about each other. They care about winning. They do the work that it takes to win. Um, we talked after the game about, you know, let's enjoy this thing for 24 hours, but the, the key for us is to go back this thing up by having another good performance next week on the road at FIU. And so we'll spend 24 hours uh, enjoying it, but then we'll sh rip this thing apart and we'll go back to the drawing board. So good win, and uh, we'll take it, and then we'll move on. What did Zion show you in that 95-yard drive? You seem to make really good decisions. I felt like through the game, for some reason, his confidence started to grow. I think you see that with a lot of young players is that there's a breaking point for them. There's a breakthrough for them. And we know that he's talented. We know that he's smart. We know that he's a great competitor. We know that he's a winner. And sometimes something just has to happen that, that triggers those things into existence. And, you know, he made a couple plays where he zipped the ball in there to Justin Jolly over the middle. He made a play down the field to KC. And I think that his his confidence grew. He had the long run that got called back for you know on the hold, but things like that, they help a young player's confidence grow. And uh, I'll be honest now, I I, I felt like uh, we were gonna we were gonna go down the field and score. I, I just felt like the momentum, and I'm not saying the momentum against Fresno State, but the momentum that we were building internally as a football team was starting to transpire in us making plays. Coach, you called time now. It was six twenty-three, I think, in the second quarter. Then you come out with a trick play right after that. It felt like that's where Zion started to gain some of his confidence. Did you feel that? And was that part of the? Yeah, I forgot about that play. Uh, <laughs> probably. You know, the, you're talking about the reverse pass down the middle. Yeah, and you know, Nick, Nick, Nick's been a guy in his career that has been pretty creative and and done things down the field, play action shots. Uh, so it was nice to get one down the field. And I think, sure, you know, any time a quarterback you know, makes some throws that are completions for first downs, and runs the ball and feels confident, um, it's going to help you, and it certainly helps Zion today. I felt like the defense kind of set the tone early. Is that how it felt on the sideline, too? Well, I, yeah, I mean, it's a team thing, but we, we did feel good on defense. We, we had, I think, three takeaways and two fourth down stops, or actually three fourth down stops because that last one. And the players, you know, I told them, I said, it doesn't matter what we call. If you guys play with great energy and great effort, we can stop people. And conversely, it doesn't matter if it's the greatest call in the world. If you don't put it that way, it's going to be hard to stop people. And they just took a bit and they just ran with it. And you know that's that's what good defenses do is they just they, they just play hard together. And our guys did that today. They get turnovers. Our guys did that, and you get fourth down stops. And they did that. They played with enthusiasm and they played with energy. Coach, can you talk about uh, Devontae's like tireless and relentless attitude, whether during this game or just during the season? I'm glad you brought that up because you know our running back situation is not is not great. And uh, uh, Nate had surgery on Thursday and he's out for the year. And Devontae is playing with a shoulder sprain that you know a lesser a kid with less tough mental toughness or maybe that didn't care as much about his teammates and his team. You know, he might take a couple weeks off and let that thing completely heal, but he understands as a running back, you're never going to be 100% healthy. And I think it shows his commitment, his toughness, uh, how much he cares about this team and his teammates. That he, you know, he, he goes through the whole week and puts a red jersey on, he doesn't take a hit. And he comes out here today at 163 pounds and just runs relentless. And, 
And our players recognize that, they respect it, they appreciate it, they feed off of it. And it's, it's fun to have guys with that type of attitude on your football team. You talked about the effort that your guys put forward every week. How important was it for them to get rewarded for that effort? I mean, it's critical. It's, it's critical when you're trying to build something that, you know, we talked about this a couple weeks ago, and I think I said, told you guys on the Saturday about Dick Vermeil's quote, that you have to find enough success in your pursuit of it that, uh, you know, you ultimately can achieve it. And uh, so, you, you know, you always worry as a, as a coach that if you keep suffering losses that, uh, you know, a little bit of that belief starts to chip away. I didn't see that out of our guys at all, and I haven't seen it, but certainly a win like this, you know, helps them believe in, in what we're doing and, and what they're committed to and uh, the culture we're trying to build and the mindset we're trying to build as a football team and the attitude and the, the, the intensity and the effort. And so, you know, when you get a win like this, then it, you know, those things become a little bit more of a reality rather than just words that are spoken. You, we got. Yeah. You got in this group. You got just. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take it, uh, Coach. You went. Your team went eight for seventeen on third down. And uh, how do you think that impacted the game as a whole? Oh, God. Well, you, you got to convert to stay on the field, and it, it certainly helped our defense. You know, I think number one, it gave our offense confidence because they're extending drives, and then it gives our defense a chance to get a break on the sideline. And uh, you know, I don't know what they were on third down, but I don't. I don't think it was great. I think we played pretty well on third down defensively as well, but. You know, it's all about offense moving the sticks, moving the sticks, moving the sticks, and there was no better example of it than that last drive or the drive for the touchdown. Coach, Coach talk about confidence. Uh, what does a game like this do for Zion Turner moving forward? Well, I, you know, I don't think the kid has ever lacked for confidence. You know, I think he was working through being a young guy playing at this level. But there's no denying that when you have a game like he did and, uh, you know, I mean, that 95-yard drive, it's, you know, that's going to build confidence in, in, in him, in himself, in our players, in him. Uh, but I don't know that that was ever lacking anyway. It just confirms some things about, about him, probably to us and to his teammates and hopefully to himself too. But you know, he's never wavered in the confidence department. It's just nice to see the results. One more. You said, you said after the NC State game um, that, you know, despite what the stats may say, the defense was, was getting closer and closer to what you were looking for. Mm -hmm. uh, tonight must have been another giant step in that direction, holding them under 200 yards of offense. It was, you know, and uh, you know, I'm a typical coach. I'll go look at the film and find all kinds of problems with it. But, you know, when you can play with certainty, you know, knowing what you're doing on defense, you can play with certainty. Then you can play with speed. When you play with speed, you can make plays. So that's always the goal. It's just being repetitive in what we're doing and still throwing in some, you know, some uh, variations. But if you understand what you're supposed to do, you're going to do it fast. If you do it fast, you're going to make some plays. And, and I've seen this kind of growing. So, uh, but once again, you know, not to throw water on the fire, but we got to go back it up, and that's going to be our mindset. Okay, Joel Austin. Coach, Thank you. Yeah. can you talk about you know going to the locker room after this? How, how was it different this week? Well, we were happy. <laughs> the kids were, the, the young men were excited. You know, they were, they were enjoying the fruits of their labor. They were enjoying uh, the fruits of their resiliency. It's not been easy on these young men, and it's fun to see them enjoying it and enjoying each other. And uh, you know, I think it's especially important today to them because there's about 50 of our players that were playing for to honor somebody else, and. Uh, I, I would say that we probably drew a little strength from that, you know, when they put that helmet on. Um, we talked about, you know, the only way you can honor somebody else is to go out and, and fight like the people that are battling cancer have fought. And our kids did that today. It was fun to see them do that. There was, a, there was an intensity to them that they were not going to be denied.